Pokemon Emerald. Whoa. You can store all kinds of things in someone's PC in Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon. Pokemon with items. Uh, what if we store Pokemon and something else? Let's say I want to store my valued Pokemon Silver Safe inside someone's PC. To do this, we can create an encoding. That's when a certain value is equivalent to another value. For example, that these four kinds of Pokemans are equivalent to these bits. Whenever we see a Wisma, it just means one zero. We can expand this to use other aspects of Pokemon in the PC. Have a look at Ben Chifley, the male teller holding a fluffy tail. We get two bits from species, one bit from gender, 60 bits from the name, and the held item gives us five more bits, giving us 68 bits per Pokemon. The PC has 14 boxes and 30 Pokemon per box. That gives us 420 slots, a max storage of about 3.5 kilobytes. It would only take 572,000 copies of Pokemon Emerald to store the hit Xbox game Brute Force. What would a real file look like? Take my message.txt. It's 39 bytes in size and it speaks truth to power. I made a website to help visualize what Pokemon we need, holding which items in what slots. After processing the file, the website tells me I just need to catch two male Ninkatas, five male Puchianas, one male Talo, and three female Wismas. Put them all in the correct slots give them all the appropriate items, and that's our message inside the PC. Now to decode, which is the inverse of encoding, I just input what Pokemon I see holding what items into the site, press decode and download, and unzip. You can find a link to my playthrough up to this point proving it was a real playthrough in the description. Doing this ourselves is very tedious and error prone. A single incorrect letter and it's all over. To remedy this, I wrote a plugin for 40 Cake Shiny Hunting Bot. You provide it with the PC file generated from the website. It will catch and organize the Pokemans. Using this, I can write much bigger files, including my Pokemon Silver Save. The whole point of this fucking video. It only takes about eight and a half hours of catching, naming, and setting up the PC. After this is all done, it takes screenshots of all the Pokemon on the PC. I then feed that into a decoding program that uses computer vision like a human would to read the screenshots of the Pokemon and spit out the original file. There is something truly fucked about storing an entire Pokemon Silver save inside the PC of a Pokemon Emerald save. I have become God. I can store anything inside Pokemon Emerald. Anything up to 3.5 kilobytes in a single Pokemon Emerald. Sometimes bigger depending on how it compresses. But you can fit Halo in there. That's right. Halo on the Atari 2600. And finally, whatever this website contains, let's open it up.